In today's video, we're going to take a look at the KNF Concepts A254 C4 uh, carbon fiber, and we're going to compare it to my trusty aluminium Manfrotto 190Go. Let's jump in. Hello and welcome to another video and in today's video I am going to give you my first thoughts on the KNF Concept A254 C4, a very catchy title that's very easy to remember. We're at the A5 C263 9B83, now we're talking about the A25 C4, A254 C4, A254 C4. So in a previous video, I'll pop the video up here, I was looking at a new tripod, I said like mentioned I was looking for a new tripod this is the one that I've settled on it's very similar to the Manfrotto 190 go which I already own but I was looking for I wasn't looking for a replacement tripod I was looking for uh, a tripod to go alongside the tripod I already had for my video work that I do so I'll pop a I'll do a little comparison of the two tripods side by side um, and you can see the differences in both of those so to compare these products side by side, we've got the 190GO and the A254C4. They both come in at the same price at around £150. Both tripods will take a maximum load weight of 15 kilograms. The Manfrotto has a height of 127 centimetres, uh, but a maximum working height of 152 centimetres, whereas the KNF has a 141 centimetre height and a maximum working height of 175 centimeters. Both those highest heights are with the poles extended. The Manfrotto is aluminium and the KNF is carbon fiber. The KNF concept weighs in at three pound. The Manfrotto 190 Go weighs in at 3.7 pound. The main leg has got a padded handle so your hands don't get cold in the winter, which is very handy and it's a bit comfortable. It's got detachable feet, which I quite like. So. So the feet do come off. So the feet unlock with a twist. So these are twist lock feet. So a twist of the handle will thing so you can grab all of them at the same time, pull the entire extension out and be set up and running in fairly quickly. I would like to say quicker than the, I would like to say quicker than the, uh, the traditional levers. I prefer the I prefer the twist lock ones. So height wise, it's a little bit taller than the Manfrotto. So I'm hoping that will give me a little bit of an advantage when I'm taking photos. I'll be able to have that little bit extra because sometimes just that little bit extra is all you need, uh, especially when you're taking shots of horizons and you want something just that little bit higher, like maybe like a tree line um, all the way down in the distance. Uh, a little bit here is going to be a massive amount down there. So it will, it, it should improve the um, your compositions. So the leg releases on these, the little levers, I quite like. I think I prefer this than the Manfrotto ones. Although the Manfrotto ones are, they feel a lot more sturdier and robust and they're gonna last a lot longer, I feel. These are a little bit cheaper, but they are easier to use. So it's, as you can see, looks a little bit flimsy, but it does, it does release quite easily. So at each point when you bring the leg out, it will stop. So if you release it and let it go, it will come out to the next point and so on until you get to fully out. So these are these are a little bit more sturdy, a bit bit more well made maybe. Um, they are metal, so they're probably going to last a lot longer than the plastic ones. And when you're pulling these out, they're quite stiff. I quite like the fact that when I pull the leg out, if I don't click it, if I don't get the angle, that I need when it's clicked like that, if I need to go a little bit further than the click, I quite like that it's quite stiff and it's not gonna go anywhere, it's nice and sturdy. Whereas these are quite, they still have a bit of, a bit of rigidity to them, but they're nowhere near as stiff as the Manfrotto ones. So I don't know whether that's a bonus or not. So one of the other features that I probably won't use on this is it's got the leg, is detachable, so it's a detachable monopod. Or you could probably use it for, if you're on hiking, you've got a uh, stick that you can hike with maybe. So, little 
hiking pole. That's be quite useful, especially when you're walking across the moors. So that side of things could be quite handy, but I'm not too sure I'm going to be using it that much because if just unscrewing and screwing threads, it could potentially end up um, ruining the threads. But at the moment, they seem they seem quite easy to get on and off. One of the negatives with this over my Manfrotto is the, the, the twist lock system. It says a quarter twist. So if I went quarter with that and then pull that out, I can't, that's really hard to push back in. So you really need to do a half twist <clears throat> to get it in. So yeah, so that's literally my only gripe with this at the moment is the, the quarter twist. You just need to see like, you just need to turn it a little bit more just to get it um, to be free flowing. So that's not too, not too bad. So build quality wise, if I, if this was my fresh tripod, I would probably say this was a really excellent build quality. It feels right. The legs opening and closing feels good. It feels, the, the catches feel nice on it. The release on the legs feel nice. And it just overall feels like a good tripod. And I would, if I'd bought this for my first tripod, I would say this was an absolute excellent buy. However, so having owned the 190 Go, this tripod just seems the next level up. The releases for the twist locks just feel nicer. You can feel the almost, I guess, fluid underneath there, just keeping it smooth. The rubber's nicer. The the way it slides in and out is nicer. The sturdiness of the tripod feels a lot nicer. The way the legs open and they're stiff. I like the way that they're stiff and it's the catches, metal catches. Everything just feels a little bit more robust and, it, and it, it's built for longevity. I haven't used the, the uh, KNF one, so I can't say it's not built for longevity, but this one's lasted me since I bought it. And I bought this back in probably 2015, 2016 and it's been going strong and I've not had any problems with it, no need to replace it at all. So the thing with it being a carbon fiber tripod, it's very light, so in high winds, there is a chance it could go over. So obviously always be careful when you're using lighter tripods. This one's got quite a good little feature, the feet come off of it. So I've picked myself up some spikes that can screw into the bottom, so you can really dig it into the ground to give it a bit more stability. you do have a hook underneath the tripod that you could um, maybe hang a bag to that will just give it a bit more weight stop it blowing over but just be careful with the type of shots you're doing if you're doing long exposures then that bag swinging could introduce a little bit of camera shake into your image so there's a lot more to this tripod than what I'm talking about at the moment but I'll do a proper review on it when I've used it for a little bit longer and I kind of know my way around it in the sense of what it can handle and what it can't. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, do the usual like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of the video. Um, if you want another video with, with a review, this is another KNF. It's the ND filter, the ND 9 to 2000, I want to say. Uh, if you want to check that video out, That'll be cool. If not, I will catch you on the next one.